So we are making a secret hidden mirror door. So it's just an idea we had. We've got a few in the house and potentially sort of hidden doors. And we thought actually it's probably useful because this is from Kaz's dressing room to her ensuite. So it's actually probably quite useful to have a big mirror in there. So full height mirror, door size. Um, and obviously having it hidden just makes it you know, it's a bit more interesting, something different. Um, so we're just stage one complete. We've got the door on. So she's picked like a um, black finished door and with the ribs going across, it should look close to the crittle doors that we're having in other areas, especially downstairs. Um, but obviously with the bathroom, you want it a bit of privacy, so it's not glass. So we've done that already. Um, we've put a handle just on the inside, because obviously you need a handle inside. We don't have one on the inside, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So that's on. And what we've gone for is a funky little catch that we found online, um, which is basically magnetic and you push it in and it pops out. So it should push the door open, because obviously we don't want to have a handle on the outside. So that's there. Um, so yeah, so when you close the door, catches and then you push it, it pops open. So that's all good to go. And the next step, which we've just done, is to attach the mirror to the door. So we've not finished the floor in here yet, so we'll just put some pieces down there just to see where the floor will be. So this is actually an IKEA mirror. Can't remember the name, we'll add it into the link. Uh, but it was actually the perfect size. So as you can see, you can just see the hinges there covers up the door on this end so it's the right width and it goes right up to the top of the door so it's good height as well and uh, even the bit of room raised slightly off the floor so it's perfect so final piece that we're going to do is we're just going to we're not keen on the aluminium we want it black so we're just going to make a black wooden frame which we're just going to stick over the metal and that'll just finish it off and actually this full wall here, we painted it green, but actually it's going to be Kaz's greenery wall. So she's found some of these artificial panels that are a meter square that she likes. So we're going to attach these to the wall, fill that whole wall with greenery, apart from there'll be some wardrobes at either side. So yeah, greenery. And also she has got a neon sign, which is going to go above there. And we're going to plug that in down here run the wire behind the green panel up here and that should finish it off and then obviously there's sockets and stuff but we'll hide those behind the greenery and you might hear a clicking every so often that's the little sensor up there and that's set to come on when there's motion and it brings on these little lights here and also a couple of lights that she's got in her, in her dressing room uh, so you her on suite so yeah nearly there with this and it's looking really good already so it's a really weird feeling because we're used to having a room there with no door on and now we've actually got a mirror there so it feels like that's the end of the house and there's nothing beyond that um, but actually just open it up and there's the ensuite so yeah looking good so uh, job for tonight just a quick job start putting the greenery panels and put the wire back in ready for the neon sign and then that's that done. And then obviously the frame, which just needs spraying. Um, so we'll probably do another video again when it's all done. So that's the first square done. So that was one piece, one meter squared. There'll be another one up here and then another one down there and up and up and then round. And that's just the gap that we're gonna have, but you won't see that because there'll be wardrobe there on both sides. So it's gonna carry on now and fill the wall, but it's fairly straightforward. There's little screw holes at the top. So I just put three screws in. I've not secured the bottom yet, so I can lift it out and, and put the wood underneath. But yeah, there's uh, obviously the socket behind there somewhere. It's well hidden. I'm just gonna put a little cut out for the light switch. And there we go, all done. That's the second piece in, starting to come together. So one there, one there, maybe three across the top, almost. And then a few cuts, cut up bits, and then it's done. That's the neon sign in as well. So it took a bit of work to get the cable hidden behind and get it in the right place. That's in now. And that last panel just needed, it's not quite a meter, so I just need to cut the bottom off just to get it to fit. But yeah, just uh, those 
last two pieces and then maybe a bit of filler here just in case the top of the wardrobe doesn't go all the way to see them which it probably won't and that's done and that's all the panels on so just a little bit missing there and there which is a bit annoying uh, but we're gonna have the wardrobes there anyway so you're not going to see that so that's fine i can live with that and the panels look together really easy just have to cut diagonal down there and down there and then just used a few off cuts down the sides that's just a case of screwing the wall just these little black plasterboard screws with a few holes at the top of each panel and a few other areas to secure it so yeah just uh, put it all in and i've just any little bits that have fallen off i've just slotted them in just dropped them in so just filled it out a bit more and that's it so yeah you got the, the sign there and i've actually set it up i put um added a smart plug to the plug so i can turn this sign on and off with the with my phone rather than having to mess around with the little remote that's probably going to get lost uh, but that's it in the dark in the light and then just turn the lights off and oh nice red glow i'm sure the neighbors all think we're a bit weird uh, but yeah looks really cool so maybe just maybe bury that a little bit more between the plants Oh yeah, it looks really cool. I don't know if the camera does it justice, really. Uh, and then obviously, this is then the secret mirror door. So, not quite finished yet, not got the frame on. All you do is push it and it pops open. And you're into the ensuite. And then, push it closed. I kind of forget there's a room there now. It just looks like the finished wall. So uh, once the frame's on, that'll go right down to the floor and up and around. That'll just finish off nicely. So it'll look really cool. So just finishing off the mirror hidden secret door. And the last job is just to put a black trim around because we don't want the silver, we prefer black, it's like the crittle that we've got everywhere else in the house. So we might find this trim from b &Q. It's like a L shape, so that'll fit around that edge. We've got a couple of different sizes but we end up going for the bigger one just to make sure we fully cover the metal. And we just bought some black spray paint and sprayed the outside. And then I'm just going to get my mic saw, cut the angles and stick it to the frame. It should look quite neat. And cover it all up. It should look good. And that is that done. So I just, as I said, mitered the corners. Stuck them on with no more nails. Maybe just need a little touch up, just where it's been cut, it's a bit white. Just get some black touch up paint just to finish that off, but really pleased with that finish, looks really good. Almost looks like a crystal, really. Um, much better than silver, so yeah, really pleased with that. So once we've got the floor done underneath, that's all done. So yeah, really pleased with that. So this is the finished it's done. hidden mirror door. With the cool sign above, why so serious neon sign? Um, so this is like a mirror. Um, this mirror is from IKEA, as Andy will have said in the video. Um, and then you just you should press it. You use a mechanism to basically press it. Yeah. What's it actually called? The thing that you've used, like a uh, like a cupboard catch. Cupboard, yeah. Magnetic cupboard catch. Yeah. And on the other side of it, we've got. Ooh, a normal door and my beautiful bathroom. <laughs> oh, no. And we've done a, more of your wardrobe since our last build as well. Yeah, so we've got Just more the... wardrobes, and we'll be doing another video when we come. Um, how we're going to make these wardrobes really like nice and bespoke and Just put different doors on. Instead. Yeah, doors. I think we've been looking at is it called Neuromax? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this video, just showing you the mirror door and the lovely greenery as well. <laughs> so it's worked out quite well. It's been pretty straightforward for you to do as well, isn't it? Yeah, we've got a smart switch, so it comes on after the light. Yeah. Yeah, so we're very happy with it, aren't we? We are, yeah, yes. good job. I'm going to do it really high because I'm short enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we'll be doing a video um, about the bathrooms as well that we filmed during the process that we couldn't share before because um, of the TV thing. Um, but we'll be doing videos about the bathrooms as well so keep a look out for them and as always thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.